Yeah, so today we're gonna do a load test. This is a new battery, pretty new. It's just a couple of months. And uh, we start with that. So right now I have just... Uh, I'm just measuring 12 volts, 12.779. Connected it, measuring DC current. Connected it to the right place here. So when you do this test you need a mean max so I'm pushing the mean max here and then we will measure the voltage when we crank the engine to see how low it will go yeah so also gonna test this out sprinter to uh, I think there are a, about 50 amps so I will try to start the, uh, the car with this using some motor cables, cable starters. So uh, this is the purpose of the video, checking to see uh, the, the freshness of these batteries. They are manufactured in 2011. So we we'll see the status of these two. So you can see we got a 10.53. It's really good. I put it on mean to uh, display a mean and this is what we got 1053 normally uh, if it's above nine and a half it's the, the battery can work so now this is the average and uh, this is the max 14.58 so charging is working so basically I've just put the starter cables onto this cable, it's a minus and this is the plus cable and uh, now I'm gonna try to start the car with this battery instead. You have to be really careful not to get these two together, bam, no no no. And you can't touch any of the, of the metal things with the, the plus, no 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 then it, it melts, very dangerous, can be a fire and so on, you can hurt yourself. Don't mix with the battery if you don't know what you're doing, it can explode. Take care of yourself. Because you see I disconnected the original battery and now I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna use this Sprinter XP 12 volt 1800. So I'm connecting the motor cables and we will see how low it will go when we crank. Almost forgot to put it on mean max. So now I go start the car. So for this battery we got uh, maximum 14.41 minimum 11.59 really good and uh, average so yeah this is really good so let's try this one okay so this time we're gonna test the middle battery it's uh, from the same year 2011 and uh, this time I've connected an amp meter so we will see how much amp it will pull in the start when I try to, to cramp, crank the engine also, I'm doing a recondition on this battery uh, with the charger. So, activating the mean max on this Fluke 789. And we put it like this. So, we got real time. So, inside the core, I'm gonna first put it in this. And the voltage will probably go down on the battery. So let's see, max 14.29, we get some voltage drop in the lines here, so it's a bit lower than when we use the original battery, and then minimum 11.28, 11.28, so that's really good, it's a fresh battery, and average 12.76, this is the real time. 
So there you have it. So I've just turned on the lights and we can see that it's drawing 11.8 amps. Hope you can see it. So pretty low. It's about uh, times 12.25 you get the wattage. It's about 100, what, what, what does it become? 160 something, 160 watts. Yeah. You have to cal calculate it yourself. But it's pretty handy to measure the currents in a simple way. Now I'll crank it up to 600 and see if we can get some good readings. It's not ex as accurate. I have to, you have to uh, adjust, uh, cal calibrate it when it's zero. So I'm gonna turn it off now. So, I have to adjust this, put it like zero, when it's zero. Now I'll try to start it again. I guess this is a bit hard to see for you, right? Yeah, something like that perhaps. Yeah, so the reading on this battery comes maximum 14.26, minimum 11.19 and then I had uh, pulled some current before testing the lights and so on, so it's okay. An average. Yeah, so this mean max is really handy. Yeah, you can see it go down here when you when you when you do it, but Sometimes you don't have someone seeing and this mean really recognize the lowest so you get more accurate reading and you just uh, reset it by turning it off and uh, then activate it again like that. So I've just made a recondition of this one using this CTEC M100 charger. And now it's, it says it's okay, I think, it's a green light, it used to be here on Recon. So when you do this Recon, you know, you, you remove some of the sulfates on the, the poles. So I, I reckon it's a good thing to do once in a while. You can see. These are the might be a bit foggy. But you have different si kinds of mood, so I'm gonna change this one now. So it's normal. Now I think it's charging normally. And then it tries it and jumps over. So this is pretty full this this battery. But I guess it will stay. And then when it's finally there, it gets a green light. So you guys might be, might not be so familiar with this type of pole, but it's nothing strange. You use this and you sort of uh, just screw them on like this. And uh, you connect this part to some some, some other source so you can have a metal or you can use uh, something to connect it you can use yeah you get the picture so you just make sure you isolate everything the different parts you might use this over so nothing if you pause the metal here 
it won't get shortcutted because if 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 you have it like open like this and you get a rod or a metal something like this here it will melt very hot it will melt it might explode the battery so always be careful when working with electricity this has a lot of amp amp power and can crank some serious amps when shorted so always use batteries with with careful attention yes I thought I'd show you that there are different different sorts of poles instead of the normal you know that comes up normal core battery but this will do just as fine you just have to adjust the cables this cable shoes and uh, yeah okay